All right. And that's how Mike Guyver was born. I was born from the bowels of a bus. The next two have to come off relatively quick together with the floor jack in place. You want me to push it under to you? Yeah. Our good buddy Jack. That's right. Oh yeah, it's on the board. That should be good here. Let me see Hold that Who put this thing in the way? You're trying to fit a round peg into a square hole. I did it. It can be done. I did it. All right, that's one. We need two of those. Do we have enough metal? Who knows? Okay, time to grind them.
over here. Sure. Push it in. Thanks. Just for reference, this is where we're putting the new propane setup now the outdoor shower, the inline water heater. This is the spare tire, which we will probably just be using as storage, I'm not sure. This was where we thought we were putting um, the, <coughs> the other propane tank from before, and that's gonna be turned into something different. Oh, that's a nice chunk of metal right there. What is that? Let's see if it fits. What do you think? Up to this point, every single time I do this, something isn't right. And so I have to, in the immortal words of Junkyard Wars, bodge. Bodge it in. So let's see how we did this time. Bodge it in there, baby. No, not yet. If it fits perfectly, we don't have to do any bodging. Oh. If it doesn't fit, then we have to bodge. Okay, so we're praying for a bodge-free installation. Oh yeah, it's good, it's good, it's good. I think it's gonna be perfect. It's a no bodge? No, we don't have one. You know what we need? <laughs> Too early to say. Too early to say. We need a propane tank. We need the we need the jack. Alright, so now we need jack. Our good buddy, Jack. So, I'll need your help here. All right, Jack the lifter. Oops, a little farther. Okay. All right, Jack him up. Okay, stop. Oh, whoa. Jack it up some more. Oh my gosh. A little bit more. Such a nice fit. Dude, that's perfect. Right in like, place. It is exactly right. So perfect. This is gonna suck drilling. We're gonna have to do some weird stuff. All right, let's let her down. Let's see oh, if this will go higher. Very high. clever. One arm jack. Keep going. Nice and slow. Got it? That's it. Okay. I think I'm gonna need bigger. We're gonna need a bigger bolt. Ow! Ooh. Man. Son of a bitch. Kicks like a donkey, huh? It really does, man. Right. Now we've got gigantic holes. You make holes in everything. Gosh. Look at the hole you made in the side of the bus. All right. One thing I've noticed about you is you're very destructive in your creative process. You're goddamn right I am. <laughs> Big Bertha. Gets the job done. Go big, Bertha. <sighs> you sure you don't want the jacking on this job? I'm starting to think. I'm going to change my mind any second. Mm -hmm. There we go. There we go. 
Ooh, it snug right up into place. I saw that. <laughs> this guy needs to come down. Oh, I can't reach that. Oh my gosh, there's like no space to move in here. It's so claustrophobic. You can't even move your arm or your hand or nothing. Okay, you gotta take it over, strong man. Another drill bites the dust. Way Breaking off, drill sorry. bits like badasses. Oh, you're getting all Houdini'd in there. Again. There we go. One more lock washer. Thank you. Thank you all. So tell me, how does it feel to have completed Propane 2.0? I like it way better than propane 1.0. <laughs> and it's buff. Let's put them in and check it out. That's why propane 1.0 trip to the Craigslist. Yep. And it was a quick sale. It was a very quick sale. This does happen to provide a never before seen view of our two black tanks. Well, it was going to be a gray tank and a black tank. They're going to be whatever they're going to be now. Two gray tanks. How's it going with those propane tanks? See, I'm tightening them down right now with our fancy tightener. Are you saying it works? Yeah. Just got to make sure everything is in place and then put a little, a little muscle into it. That's it. I ain't going anywhere. I got jiggled a tiny bit, but that's okay. Like it's not going anywhere. Nice work. So the big test is this. Did we do a good enough job? I sure hope so. propane tanks. Oh, play us a song, you're the piano hinge. <laughs> Isn't that how that goes? Close, really close. <laughs> See, if I cut it off like that, and I leave this hanging edge like this, then if I snip it, it won't pull through because it'll bend the metal out enough not to make it through the holes. First rivet. Oh. Not the I first one I've ever done, but the first one in a really long time. I've never even seen a rivet put in before. Okay, so that square, if you could bring that square over here, this is a moment that we can make sure everything's going to be just right. So. Single handedly. This little drill bit. Here, zoom in on that right there. Is that the center drill again? This is the center thing, yeah. So all this thing does is this outer piece here fits over a hole. So like right here, it just fits like that and centers itself. But you can see 
inside of it, there's a drill bit. Oh. And it center punches a hole for you. And that way, when you come back and, and it's just like a pilot hole, so you can really center a screwdriver or a screw or whatever. So. Nifty. But for me, it absolutely lined up these holes. So now, I could drop a rivet. Two. Looks like it'll get the job done, though. Yeah, it does. I'll just have, uh, what's it called, carpal tunnels? <laughs> right. <laughs> before I'm done. I'll suffer with it the rest of my life. Surely. This is that one moment where I made a giant error. You'll always look back on this with regret and yeah. say, if I just hadn't used that powerless riveter. I just not used the manual riveter. Yeah. I'd still have the use of my hand. It's a shame. You'll rue the day. There's something satisfying about this though, the permanence of Seems a rivet. Cool. Yeah, it's kind of neat. It's like you just know that that rivet's not coming out anytime soon. How about oh. never? I thought that was going to be a three-er. Oh. Good workout for your hands, baby. Mm -hmm. Like you needed that. <laughs> So now we got a nice buff door. There. Okay. There's two layers of metal right there. Extra buffness. Yeah, so it's, it's grabbing into a lot more than we started with. Oh. Guff up the metal to give the paint something to stick to. So we're using these 3M pads. They're not like the ones you get in the store. They, they're like sandpaper, but they're specific for um, painting. And since we're doing like a plastic coat on this, I don't think we need to do a, a uh, primer coat. So, oh, this works a lot better once I put a little WD-40 on it. Oh, nice. However, to the point where we might have to lock it. Because <laughs> it works pretty good now. A little now. too good? <laughs> yeah. Great, Mike. Thanks for fixing that so good. I know. You're welcome, everybody. Mm -hmm. All right, a little acetone. I'm just washing off the sanding residue, what may be. Now we just need to spray paint. I'm too sexy for this bus. No way, I'm disco dancing. <laughs> but what the people want to know is, what happened to the back of his head? <laughs> And his lips. Right? So, the story goes like this. Mike had a birthday. Mike had a birthday. There was no drinking involved. 
<laughs> um, I got a lathe for my birthday, which is super awesome. And I'm learning how to use the lathe. And uh, wearing the proper protective equipment, it's still um, one of the pieces came out of the lathe, bounced off the lathe bed, bounced up and hit me in the face and broke my lip. And I got a little cut on the inside and it's now what you want. The other ones have nothing to do with the lathe. It was just a poor day. And I was taking a shower and I cut myself shaving. I think right here, is it here? Yep, right there. And then when I was shaving my noggin, right there. <laughs> that one required a large bandage. That was a bad one. It was hemorrhaging <laughs> from a large area. It was a bad day, it was a really bad day. <laughs> So bad day for Mikey. Carrie made me sit on the couch the rest of the day. <laughs> With pillows, surrounded by pillows. No sitting, no playing outside or nothing. <laughs> Only gave him a plastic cup to drink out of. Yep, bubble wrap my head. <laughs> Taped your hands to your sides so you couldn't do anything. <laughs> <laughs> Sedated me. Right. So I couldn't even think of cool things to do. <laughs> lest I fall off the couch and get hurt. <laughs> This is, this is our automatic uh, propane switch. So we have two propane tanks and this hooks to one, this hooks to the other one. And when one goes dead, it automatically switches to the other one. And we'll put a link down in the description for you where we got it. But, um, but you can also choose, this has a little switch you can choose. I've never done this. I don't know if it's gonna work or not. So I'm just gonna hook it up and see what happens. It might need this to be under pressure. Um, it might need both of these under pressure. It's going to be a smell of propane in a second for sure. So here we go. I like this. I wanted something I could twist on with my hand. Like in the van when we built it, I got one I have to use a wrench on. And that's a pain in the butt, man. So I was like adamant about finding something that had hand threads. There we go. Both of these might just be totally dead. I don't even smell anything. It's just dead. Yeah, I think it's just dead. So we still don't know if it works. <laughs> we just don't know. I could probably mount it right here. In this ridge. Just has to miss that. There's bird brain. And he's back. That gives me a lot more room to work on this. So that's cool. All right. So with them down there, that actually opens things up for us a little bit because now we can put this here. Because this test doesn't have to come up very far to unscrew this. Like that. To get this out of here. So. So we can mount it like this right here. Perfect. Somehow. All right. So we want it to be like that, so. I can't, I'm having trouble getting this one started. You want me to see if I can help with my tiny hands? <sighs> it's actually more of a strength issue here. Oh, then it's definitely a job for you. Because strength is not my strength. <laughs> that a dub. That is pretty cool. That worked out really well. Let's see if we can take this off though. There it is. We can change tanks. We can see which one's dead. Automatic switch. Nice and tight, not going anywhere, and captured. So we found, we figured out something, and it was just happenstance. We didn't actually plan this, but um, if one of these tanks were to become loose and start floating around in here, 
there's actually not enough room for it to fall out. There's no place for it to get out. So even if it came loose, we would come out here when we got to our location, open this up and be like, oh, one of our propane tanks was floating around in here, but it can't fall out. That's awesome. Propane is 75% done. What are you doing, you weird squirrel? I got shit out by a bus. Bowel. <laughs> 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 it wasn't the bosom, it was the bowel. I knew you were a turd. <laughs> Wanna get down? Wanna get down, huh? What? You don't even belong to us, Rudy. You're just a neighborhood cat. Oh, Rudy. Wait, huh, buddy? Where you go now? He's like, Little no, I'm not letting go. Oh, he wants to hold you. Rudy. Where do you belong, you weird cat? Oh, there you go, Rudy. All right, go play. You have to go. extricate yourself from his I know, clutches. I know, won't let go. <laughs> we call him Rudy because he eats all our food. He comes right in the cat door in our laundry room and makes himself at home. Because he's rude. But he likes to stop and smell the flowers. <laughs> Craziness. That's where I've got it going on. You do. You got crazy. That. I take the gold medal in crazy. It's just too gigantic. Oh.